Uh, my name is Dan Wessel. I'm the assistant general manager here at the factory at the district. Um, I've been here for about a year and a half um, working for uh, the Steinberg Group. And uh, we do concerts, we do galas, we do IPOs, um, weddings, all kinds of great stuff. It's really become the new crown jewel of St. Louis in my eyes. But uh, yeah, very excited to be here and uh, very excited to be working uh, with the Buddy Fund. Uh, my name is Emily Ackley. I'm a leasing representative for the Steinberg Group. We are a shopping center owner who develops, manages, and leases all of our centers across the U.S. Uh, this is led by Michael Steinberg himself, who he himself personally has developed 200 shopping centers of quality retail that is made up of over 45 million square feet in his career. In my role as a leasing representative, I focus on just a couple of our centers in our portfolio. This includes a center in Oklahoma, two in Kansas, a couple in Missouri, and my most exciting one is the district uh, located here in Chesterfield, Missouri. The district is, is really something special that we're creating here in St. Louis and kind of going aside of all that historic retail that we've developed in the past and we're creating something where people can spend and enjoy their time in one walkable area. It's gonna be the ultimate destination in St. Louis. Uh, so really excited to be here today, uh, talk more about what we're creating and giving the St. Louis community and in parallel what the Buddy Fund is doing and how we're contributing that way as well. Michael has been supporting the Buddy Fund for years, dating back to 2017. And um, you know, personally for me, I moved away. I'm from St. Louis and I moved away for 16 years. I ran music venues in Colorado and DC, kind of all over the country and coming back, um, when I met Michael and he was building this facility, he kind of made it adamant that we give back. And in the music industry or whatever you want to call it, it's kind of unheard of. It's, it's really refreshing and it's kind of become one of the pillars of what we do. Um, you really, we need to support the community that supports us. And I think that's been something that people who, whether you're playing here or attending here or working here, it's something really, really refreshing and it makes it more fun and more uh, rewarding to work here as well. Mm -hmm. We have this special opportunity of watching Michael Steinberg wear both his real estate hat and his philanthropic hat. And at the end of the day, it, it all kind of boils down to the same core motivation. And that's what can we do and what can we build and give back to the St. Louis community? And how can we fill what's missing and, and bring more to what this area is? And, and therefore, you know, what the Buddy Fund does and how it serves. Um, to quote Michael directly and to put very simply for him with the Buddy Fund of if you're able to give just one positive opportunity or chance, in turn that, that child can then take that and become positive themselves. Of, of all you need is one chance and one person to believe in you. And that's, that's, that's the best card that you can be dealt despite every other card that might be in your pocket. If you just have that one chance card, you have the chance to, I mean, change everything and in, in your future in front of you. Um, I thought about this and there are a few things, I, I'm sure Emily has some thoughts too, um, but one, obviously it's just the right thing to do. Um, St. Louis, there's a, you know, it's one of those towns that's kind of um, really, really proud of itself. And having moved away, you meet somebody from St. Louis, there's a lot of pride and it's kind of a weird, unique pride. I think people, when they come back, like myself or a lot of people I know, they kind of know it's important to give back, keep growing St. Louis as a whole. Um, you know, to quote Michael again, um, you know, uh, he's had a lot of unique quotes, but one of the, the ones I like is that, you know, nobody who's been successful really did it by themselves. Everyone has mm -hmm. had some help. And I think the Buddy Fund is a really good example of that um, as far as giving back. Um, a couple other points, I guess, as far as why um, it's important is it expands our relationship with the community. You know, the more people we know, the more people we mm -hmm. uh, can network to, whether it's for concerts or real estate or events, mm -hmm. um, the better. And we can really expect, ex extend our arms out to the community and uh, you know make it better and, and vice versa. And then lastly, I kind of touched on it. Um, it empowers our employees. Um, it can foster morale, camaraderie, and um, kind of build respect. If you come into this venue, again, whether it's a wedding or a concert or something crazy like that, you're still gonna see a bunch of professionals who really, really care and a lot of really good people. I don't think Michael Steinberg um, hires bad people. I think that's one of the first, thing he does, first things he looks at. Um, professionalism, experience, that's great, but I think you have to be a good person to really succeed. And obviously Michael's one of those people as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't agree with more in everything that you said there. And 
Um, I think when you get to a certain point in your life of you have everything you need to be equipped to be successful and happy and, and check those couple boxes, you're doing a disservice if you don't in turn, you know, share what you've learned and, and give back. Because to your point, and as Michael said as well, you can't do it alone. And so to kind of return the favor and extend that hand out because, you know, it's, it's a cliche, but it exists for a reason. You know, we're stronger together. And with St. Louis, how we are and, you know, being the world's biggest small town, right? Mm -hmm. That what that stems down to is the special community that we have and we're creating here. And in order to continue to stabilize that community and, and continue to growth again, both in individuals and who we are as people and also in what we're physically developing and building, you know, such as here at the district, it's the first thing you have to do is, is bring in the community to have any sort of success in that, um, both on an individual standpoint and then on that broader spectrum of, of what we're doing and creating. We talked about it a little bit, and we, I think we had the same answer. Oddly mm -hmm. enough, um, it was opportunity. Um, you know, I don't. I mean, I know you guys being in the world of um, you know these kind of organizations, it seems like everyone else is doing it because you're probably around them a lot. But we're not necessarily you know in the thick of it, and we work with a whole lot of local and national organizations. But opportunity is really it. Um, you know, I think the one thing that's unique and special about the Buddy Fund that I think we kind of gravitate towards is the fact that work with children and you know coming from a family myself who you know gives back a lot and has for years um, I think when you're, you're working with young ones um, when you give back you're kind of showing them that hey I can do this when I get older because somebody helped me out when I was younger I think mm -hmm. Michael was the same way and I think it that's how St. Louis works and that's why it's unique and special and there's a very local uh, blood to this this thing and uh, mm -hmm. I think that's one of the the best things about this and it also teaches them to be a, a better person because they've seen it happen and they've seen it mm -hmm. you know you know uh, in real life so i think that's probably that's what i see um, what about you mm -hmm. uh i would agree completely again we we had the same word for this answer of that being just opportunity and i think the coolest thing about the buddy fund is how that opportunity is given to children and that and it's in it's in the form of something that they also enjoy you know it's not just a you know here's a class you go sit in you're going to learn today how to be a better team member leader you know what have you it's it's in a form that still helps them feel like a kid despite all the other hardships that they're going through and then get to learn those valuable life skills and lessons in this fun way that then will prepare them for the life ahead of them and again making that opportunity greater in front of them um, to have a happy and successful life.